Dear God, thank you so much for Patrick and what he's doing for people's lives and uh, helping them meet their goals. Lord, help us to take care of ourselves and our families first, and then we can take care of your community. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Coach Patrick, where can we find you? Uh, Facebook, Bob Patrick. Look at Facebook or Omega Fitness Online. Omega Fitness Online. But, uh, I had a question that, that guys always ask me in the gym. A question of vascularity. Mm-hmm. What is that? Is that genetics? <laughs> is that low body fat? Is that just coolness? No, what, what is uh, it? I'd say what the most, I think the biggest influence, body fat percentage. Okay. Uh, subcutaneous body fat mm-hmm. covers the muscle. Right. Just so, like your abs. So you don't really see your abs until you get to about right. what body percentage? I would say less guys. than 14 for guys. 14? You can start seeing abs. Less okay. than 10 is a little bit of definition. Okay. Yeah. Um, over 14, 16%, you, more body fat on your muscles cover b- veins, so you see less mm-hmm. vascular. Um, another key component that you said is how you eat. Mm-hmm. Um, you can be low body fat and eat crap and not really be vascular mm-hmm. because of the content of vitamins and nutrients that you're getting. If you're eating, um, one thing for vascularity is it's called vasodilation mm-hmm. and it's called nitric oxide, uh, green leafy. Um, plants and right. vegetables, also from fruits. Uh, arginine is the most, right. I've, it comes from watermelon mm-hmm. and it um, uh, converts into the same thing as nitric oxide, mm-hmm. so very good pre-workout right. for blood flow and stuff. Um, that nitric oxide vasodilation makes your veins bigger. Right. Um, when you start conditioning uh-huh. uh, aerobic exercises and anaerobic mm-hmm. exercises, you actually strengthen the ventricle and your stroke volume. Right. So your heart can pump more blood per pump. So you're getting more red blood cells. Your lungs create new alveoli. You get mm-hmm. more oxygen capacity, which right. is VO2 max. Right. So you get more oxygen per stroke. And that's mm-hmm. what's going to your muscles. So we're up, we're getting more activity. If you run, bike, do things, they don't have to be high impact, but you're getting that heart rate up for, for how long? I would say at least 40 time? minutes, 45 40 minutes. minutes. Okay. Hours good. Yeah. Okay. Per day? Uh, yeah. Started? Well, you know, this recommended 150 minutes right. per week. Mm-hmm. So I'll break that down. You're taking care of yourself on the health side. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're eating more of those green leafy things. You get more nitric oxide. You're getting more blood blood flow, which means in the gym. Correct me if I'm wrong. It means three or four more reps. Yes. It means ten or fifteen more pounds. Yes. It means instead of just doing chest day, you're doing chest, and you do some, you run out of time. You got ten minutes left, and you throw down and do some abs for dessert. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, the, the vascularity is a byproduct of something that you do on a regular basis yeah. for your health and fitness. Would you say that most people have the option or the ability to achieve vascularity if they yes. if they create their own legacy in fitness? I believe everybody has the potential based okay. on their lifestyle. It's a reflection of what you do, body fat percentage and health. But I did something, yeah. but then I'm gonna plateau. And stall and wait, you may, oh man, it stopped working. Right. And give up in a week or two. Okay. I see it happen all the time. Okay. You gotta get past that point to where your body burns fat, then your body composition starts to change. That's when the real motivation comes, is when you're losing right. inches. I mean, just take anybody for right now. If you gain 10 pounds of muscle right. and lose 10 pounds of fat, uh-huh. you still weigh the same. Right. The scale does not matter. Absolutely. You're less inches, you're toner, more strong. So, you got to look in the mirror. Absolutely. How difference. you feel, yeah. So How you the scale doesn't say everything. Those clothes will let you know. Uh, in those stall periods or that plateau period, you really need someone to help you identify what that is. Mm-hmm. You know, why am I stalling? What's going on? And yeah. for people that don't have a coach or someone that's done that for a while, like you, then they they could give up pretty you easily. You can get overwhelming. Yeah, it is. But we got enough things in our life to worry most about. Most people can't implement it into a program that will work for them. Right. And that's what a coach does. They evaluate. They take the right information, implement it in a program that will work for you, mm-hmm. and make an um, analysis right. for those stalls. Like, why is it working? What's not? What do we need to change? Right. Cool. Yeah. That is awesome.